Okay, I am out here today looking at this uh, new Dakin Bavi. I think it's a six. I'm fairly confident it's the sixes. Anyway, it's my first time looking at one. Um, originally, I thought I was coming out here to do a commissioning. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So the story's kind of changing as I go along, but I think from my understanding, it's it's up and running. I'm here just to add a little bit extra gas and also plug in and just make sure that everything's working correctly. So um, this is an aged care facility. So luckily for me, <laughs> they did decide to put in a heat recovery. So my God, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, eliminates all the problems coming back, doesn't it? So actually our branch box is sitting right there, so. <clears throat> Okay. Um, anyway, uh, the only uh, first thoughts, I mean, it looks cool. I really like this. Um, but the apparently the plan is that they're doing three rooms now and then three, three rooms later, right? So it would have been nice had they actually decided to put some ball valves here and that would have really saved a lot of time when you had to come back and add on these extra heads. But, you know... Vegas can't be choosers. I'm just happy I've got a heat recovery. Um, the other, the only other thing that I've noticed is probably going to be an issue going forward is those things. They are basically just going to be exhausting fumes into the coil. Um, actually, you can probably already see it. Yeah, so you can start to see it's already starting to do that, um, like eat away at the coil. I did a video um, a while back, actually, on a um, city multi that had that exact issue. It was basically, you know, sucking flue gases over the coil for 10 years and it eventually just pitted. Um, if I can work out how to link videos, I'll do it. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, what we'll do, we'll get this thing up and running. I'll, first of all, we'll plug in, get it up and running, and then we'll just go through and just do the basics. You know, we'll, we'll add the gas. We'll get it through. We'll go do do a test heating. It's 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 a little chilly today. Test heating. Um, we'll do port checks just to confirm that, you know, the heads that are turning on um, are the ones we want to be turning on. Probably need to go set N addresses because I doubt that's been done. So maybe we'll start off with that, actually. We'll go do the N addresses first. All right, I, I like the idea that you can just get access to this and then obviously you pour it through there. But downside, if you ever need to get this cover off, it's like 45 screws. Like you got one, two, three, four, five, six, far too many screws, Dakin, come on. Um, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get plugged in and see how we go. Um, we're just in the process of getting the service checker set up now that we've got the internet addresses set. Um, a bit tight, but we'll make it work. Alrighty, we got there in the end. So, power. Okay. All right, just building the uh, the site map now. We'll make sure that we're seeing what we think we should. All right, we're all set. Internet addresses and group group addresses are all set, so we'll um, we'll get into testing the ports. So basically, I'm just going to turn one into one at a time, make sure that the one that uh, we want to turn on is turning on. You know, basically just confirming that there's no you know, cross wires or cross pipes or anything like that. Then we'll yeah put it into a full test heat probably, um, and add the additional charge, uh, which I've still got to get confirmation on. So we'll jump into it. Let's do the first one. That's always a good sign. We should see that little icon turn green in just a second. That's all you want to see. Compressor's just turned on, so now we'll wait to see if our temps on the indoor that we think should be running increase um all right basically what, what we're going to do is i've got them all i had them all running in heating mode and now i've just gone ahead and turned the uh 03 into cool mode so again if it's wired correctly that one should start cooling um and then basically i'll turn that and to heat back into heat mode the next one into cooling and just basically make sure that we're seeing those those um 
uh, pipe temperatures change accordingly, and that way we can confirm that you know the, um, the the piping and the wiring is all correct. Beautiful. So I3, which is zero uh, zero two, has just opened up the LEV to start cooling, and we've seen that indoor liquid temp drop to eleven degrees. So. We'll go through one more refresh rate, <clears throat> but I think we're confident that, that one is wired and piped correctly. And then we'll go up to I2, which is 003, and we'll turn that one into cooling mode and make sure that our temps drop there as well. Uh, and then basically we can confirm that the if those two are correct, then the top one, I1, is gonna be correct. So don't even need to worry about changing that one. Uh, and then we can get to adding in the additional refrigerant. So happy with that. Um, I've just turned that one back into heating and this one into cooling mode and we'll make sure that our uh, pipe temperatures change accordingly here. And there we go. That indoor liquid pipe temp just dropped to four degrees. So this thing is wired correctly and piped correctly. That's that's nice. Um, easy, all right. We'll get this thing running in a, um, probably have to turn them all to cool mode so we can charge up. It only needs an additional one kilo. So not too much. Um, That'll obviously change once they put on the additional three heads, uh, but that is not for today's problem. That is a that is a problem for another day. Oh yeah, I was wondering where the caps were, and I don't know if they obviously don't come with any. Huh? I mean, clearly Dakin aren't worried about leaking from their uh, their service ports. Maybe they've uh, finally figured out how to stop them from leaking. Well done, Dakin. <laughs> Just for shits and gigs, I am going to hit that with a uh, leak detector for sure. <laughs> um, anyway, we've just turned one of the heads on to cooling mode, so we're going to hook up to our suction line. Um, yeah, and go from there. Okay. I guess they can happen figured it out. Great. Huh. Um Right, well I'm not really sure what to do about that to be honest with you, because uh, they obviously don't give you an option to put a cap on there. Um, so, yeah, great. Alrighty, <clears throat> open up the vapor port, so the one that you've got it connected to, the blue one. Oh. Open that up, yep. Other way. Okay, open it up all the way. Beautiful, we'll purge down here. Do you want me to turn it on and stare it? Yes, please. Okay, and then invert it. Uh, and then the on-off button again. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you'll probably find you need to do it again once you invert it anyway, so just flip the bottle upside down on the scales. You know what? We might take it out of the um, take it out of the cover yeah, as nice. well. Yeah, it seems to be wobbly. So we'll go. Okay. Yeah. So I'll go for you. Stop. Go. All right. So again. Yes. Cool. All right, we are ready to add our additional. Um, so I'll open this up. So it's uh, 960 grams we've got <clears throat> to add. Not very much at all, so we'll just go slowly into the suction line. I'm just going through the Schrader depressor here. We've still got the Schrader core in there, so, you know, don't have to be too careful, but uh, still.
Um, so I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do about that. Um, yeah, it's not a massive leak. Like my leak detector was on high and it couldn't pick it up on medium. I'll flag it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a ballsy decision by you, Dakin. Well done. So everything's looking pretty good here. Um, indoors are heating. Uh, because this is the first time I plugged into one of the sixes, what I'm going to do is let this uh, just run for a while. I'll probably bump the temps back down to uh, something reasonable and it might go into cooling mode actually. Um, but yeah, just leave it plugged in for a little while. As long as the weather permits, it is looking great. But um, yeah, I'd love to get some, some data on these things and just, uh, yeah, like I said, first time plugging into one. So anyway, we'll, um, we'll keep looking at it. Just going through the service manual and having a look at what um, some of these misters are there are a lot of new ones on here that I haven't seen before so um, for example where was that one that I had to I was looking at what the box air temp is so that's the electrical box temperature of the air in there so that's kind of cool to know I guess yeah a fair bit going on um, these things look like they're pretty cool man I think we're pretty much done here I was gonna leave my computer out here for a, a, a lot longer but um, it does look like it's gonna start raining on us soon so um, yeah, there was nothing really um, wrong outside of the, uh, I think it was the high side suction port, uh, sorry, the high side um, service valve there leaking. I'm going to have to mention that, see what they want to do about it. But um, outside of that, it was more just kind of a video of just running through what I was going to do in terms of like, you know, commissioning, I guess. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.